So somebody said, what about a trade for Kyrie and Russell Westbrook? First of all, I'm tripping because why the hell would the Nets even think about trading Kyrie Irving? Kyrie Irving contract, he actually has a player opt-out option this season. So he got like less than a month to make a decision if he's going to stay in Brooklyn. Or he could just walk as a free agent. Now, Brooklyn, they already let it be known. They don't really believe in Kyrie, if you ask me. They already said they're not going to give him a max contract extension. When I think of the max, you know what I'm saying? Not that I'm an NBA owner, but when I think of the max, I think that you are paying in and buying into the future, which you potentially think, as well as what these guys have proven. And then that contract year is big because you want to make sure that they're healthy, most of all. I think the contract year should be based off of injuries. They are not going to pay Kyrie because of him not being vaccinated, not missing games. Like last year, 29 games he played last year. The year before that, he played 54. The first year in Brooklyn, only played 20. Now, when you look at the numbers, the numbers when he on the court is pretty much the same. He averaging about... He put up more minutes, less games this year, but he had more minutes. He averaged more minutes than he did in any other year in Brooklyn. The points are pretty much averaging the same. I think the um, assists are about six a game. The rebounds are about five a game for all three seasons that he's been in the league. And the the, the shooting percentage is a little bit up and down. You know what I mean? Started at 48, went up to 50. Now he's back down to like 47. From the field, but I'm just feeling like Kyrie still can bring all the smoke. So why would you not max him out? The worst case scenario to me, you sign him, swap for Bradley Beal out in Washington because Bradley Beal is also set for a max extension. And he, I think, can opt out. So maybe them guys can sign and, and swap. Brooklyn is playing the role. They're going to let the people mess up their chances of winning the championship. They trying to think what's right when it comes to Kyrie's availability. They going to make him suffer. Kyrie is not going to go for it. I think Kyrie going to walk. I just don't see Kyrie staying. I know Kevin Durant is his best friend. Kevin Durant didn't even talk to the organization since they actually got eliminated in the playoffs. So I don't know if KD already knows something or if he just sitting back looking to see how proactive the Nets are going to get. You, you don't see Steve Nash nowhere, though. You see what I'm saying? That's the funny part about it. You don't see Steve Nash. He's supposed to be a coach. Everything is quiet. I think Kyrie out the door. The chances of him being with LeBron and all that stuff, I think that trade is crazy. I don't think LeBron would want to play with Kyrie no more. He's been too disrespectful. So you make your bed, you lie in it, Kyrie Irving.